Hey folks, Keith with 93 Lumber coming back at you with another beer. This is a Crowler from Muckraker. It is their thank you for being a friend. Uh, it is... <clears throat> uh, I know it is a farmhouse ale, I believe. Um, I know that there are peaches in it. I know that there are second used blueberries. And I know that it was aged for six months in Tomcat gin barrels that previously held whiskey. So, uh, I got this on Saturday. Today is Monday, so it's two days old. Less than, it's less than 48 hours old. Right? What time is it? I don't know what time. So, uh, yeah, proper glassware. Because you gotta. Um, I don't know if I had this because I know Katie and I went there. I went on Saturday to, uh, I had a couple beers and, uh, I, I grabbed like some bottles and some growlers and stuff. Um, but the last time Katie and I went, I can't remember if she got this or cause I remember I wanted to get a crowler of this to go to review but Katie was going to get it and it kicked. So I don't remember if she had it, if she was getting it again and I had a sip of it before, but whatever. I don't remember is, is my point. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a really cool kind of like, uh, kind of reminds me of like a raspberry or strawberry kind of thing but it's peaches and blueberries so yeah i guess it's got kind of like a purplish it's like a pinkish purplish reddish kind of thing yeah that's good it looks like there's a slight haze to it maybe can't tell if that's just the fog on the glass but yeah not much of a head <clears throat> see what it smells like I feel like I'm getting a crazy big blueberry thing. Cause I am getting, I'm getting a fruity thing, but I, it's not like super, it's not coming off like super fruity. I mean, it's from what I'm getting, it's super fruity. I just mean like, it's not huge. Like I'm not getting a huge aroma, but what I am getting is really fruity. It's just not super big is I just wanted to clarify. Yeah, there's a little bit of stone fruit thing maybe, or that might be barrel. Um, getting a touch of this like floral herbal thing which I don't know if that's that I would assume it's coming from the barrel or the gin the gin barrel it's 7% alcohol by the way by the way Yeah, and it comes off a little bit tart. It's got a little tartness to it. Uh, yeah, so let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. Tart, <clears throat> definitely tart. 
the gin in this is really cool because it's kind of like what it it's a little it's bigger but it's kind of the same thing that uh was in the nose like it's just like this nice little floral herbal thing that you're getting super nice it's drying there are um uh like peach pit uh barrel kind of thing in there i don't know if it's coming from both i don't know if they were pitted or not i think it said on the thing but i don't, I don't remember yeah and there is this subtle because like like lots of blueberry things are sweet but blueberries themselves are not uh usually the ones that i've had that sweet um and there is this just like subtle uh, are blueberries considered dark fruit but there is this like subtle like uh not really bitter but just this I'm not a describe. I'm just gonna call it a dark fruit thing. It's definitely a blueberry thing specifically, but uh, or I should probably just say that. I think I'm wording it that way because because if I was if I didn't know there were blueberries in this, I would probably say dark fruit. Because I don't think if I didn't know, I would specifically say blueberries. I think that's 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 how my brain works, or is working at this moment. Mm. I really like this. There is a slight peachy thing, but kind of the, kind of similar with the blueberries. I don't know if I would call it peach if I didn't know it was peaches, but there is a fruity thing uh, as far as the peaches go. Talk about the peaches. Um, but it does give it like this like, nice juicy character. Mm. This is so good. Muckraker is good. Go buy go buy some muckraker. Yeah. My favorite part about this is the is that little bit of gin thing going on in there. I'm not really cuz the gin barrel that previously held whiskey and I'm maybe with that like floral herbal thing. There, uh, I guess I could pull a, some whiskey notes out of that, but it's it's very it's very subtle. Actually, now that now that I say that, I feel like I'm getting more whiskey notes than I am gin notes now. The power of uh, what do they call it? The power of of uh, 
suggestion. Yeah, it's good. Go get it, Muckraker. They do delivery. I don't know how many counties they deliver to, but you can get uh, delivery from Muckraker. So, yeah. So, if you don't feel like driving up into uh, Sussex County, uh, almost New York, they do deliver to uh, uh, to some some places. So, go check that. Uh, so yeah, hope you're all doing well. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. You can like this video if you would like to. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. You can follow me on Instagram at 93lumber. That's spelled out. 93lumber. And we will see you in the next one. Cheers.